in this video I'm going to talk about probability simulations. Okay, now simulation is a process of uh, modeling a real life situation. So let us think about a real life situation. Think of a family of two children. You want to simulate uh, a family of two children. Okay, so let's think about this. So in which, in how many possible ways can you have uh, families of two children? Okay. So we want to think about two children. Okay, now the probability of getting a boy or a girl is equal. Okay, so this is how you should, these are some basic concepts you should understand. The probability of a boy is equal to the probability of a girl. Okay. I hope you will learn that in science, that the probability of having a boy or a girl is equally likely. So the probability, this is how you write, probability of a boy or probability of a girl is half. So if there are two children in a family and we want to think in how many different ways are we going to get this family of two children? Well, you can get, uh, two children can be got in four possible ways, if both are boys. Okay, the first is boy, the second is also a boy. The second possibility is the first is boy, the second is a girl. The third probability is the first is a girl, the second is a boy. And the last probability is you get both girls. So there are, these are the four equally likely ways in which you're going to have two children. First boy, so this is the first child, and this is the second child. So you get the first and the second boys the first is a boy the second is a girl or the first is a girl the second is a boy or both of them are girls so there are four possible outcomes so this means there are four outcomes there are four outcomes and the probability so let me write the probability of having both boys if there are four outcomes the probability of having both boys is one quarter. So the what's the probability of a first boy and second girl? That's again a quarter. What's the probability of a first girl and then a boy? That's again a quarter. And finally, probability of getting both girls is again quarter. Okay, now if you look at this in a slightly different way, though there are four outcomes, this can be grouped as one outcome. Or there are three out. Basically, there are three outcomes. So this is one outcome. This two you can describe as one outcome, and this is the third outcome. So we, yeah, if you talk in terms of boys, this is both boys. So this family has both boys. So this is one way of having two children. Here, this is one boy and one girl. So you can say one boy plus one girl. So the order doesn't matter, yeah? And here there are uh, no zero boys. We are talking in terms of boys. Okay, or in, if you want to say in terms of girls, suppose if you want to say the same thing in terms of girls, here you can say this is zero girls. One girl, one, one girl plus one boy. And this is two girls. Two girls. Okay, so yeah. If you want, suppose, yeah, so this, you can also say this is zero girl, one girl, two girl. In, in, in respect to boys, you can say two boys, one boy, zero boy. Okay, so let's do a simulation. How will you, suppose if you want to, want to find in real life whether this is really true, scientifically, I hope you know the probability of getting a boy and a girl is equal. But in real life, uh, if you want to do an experiment of... Uh, say 50 families. So there are different ways of doing it. So you can go and ask uh, 50 families of two children and from that you can find the probability. But can we do this as an experiment? So let us do a probability experiment. Let's do a probability experiment and that is a simulation. Okay, so how can we do, how can we model this uh, situation or this uh, this real life situation. Okay, so yeah, you're going to use random numbers. You're going to use 
random numbers on calculator. You can also use a die uh, to model the situation, but we are going to do use a calculator to model this. So how are we going to use a calculator? So we're going to generate random numbers. So let me show you how you can generate random numbers on a graphic calculator. Okay. So you can do this also on a simple calculator. So if you go to option and if you go to probability, random number. So this this is called random numbers. And if you press equal, you'll get so let us think about the numbers after or suppose if it is zero, suppose let me uh, okay, so the first number is always zero, yeah. Okay, so yeah. Uh, let me cancel random numbers. Let me explain. So we have, we have to decide odd anything. You can decide anything. So there are two possible numbers. So you can you're looking at these numbers as either odd or even. Suppose let me decide like this. Suppose if I get an odd number. So suppose let me decide. So this is my decision. This is a this is called simulation or this is also called a modeling. Okay. So if I get a odd number, odd number, I hope you know odd numbers are 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 are odd numbers. And even numbers are, you can include 0, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 are even numbers. So if you're, suppose let me decide, if I'm getting odd number, I'll say that's a boy. The first number is odd, I'll say that's a boy, and if it's an even number, I'll say it's a girl. So let me make up a table here. So here, I'm going to say family number, family number, the first family. So I'll show you one, two, three families. This is the random number that I'm going to get, and type of family. First, let me make up the column type of family. So what I'm going to do is, so there are basically, we are interested in say number of, okay, we'll talk about the decision later on. So let me first write the first number. So the first number is, I'm only looking at the first two numbers. So I'll write eight five. So the random number that I got for the first family is eight five. Eight means it's even. It is even. That means it's a girl and odd. Even is for girl and odd is for boy. So I can say this family has the first was girl, the second was boy. Okay. So let me press the second number. You can use the next two numbers also, but let me use a different random number. So this is 5-5. Five, five. So let me write 5-5. Five, five. So 5-5 five, five means both are odd. Odd means both are boys. So the second family had boy and a boy. Okay. The third family press equal nine two. So write the number first. Nine two. Nine is odd. Odd means boy. Boys are odd and even are girls. So it's boy and girl. So let me do a few more. Let me do up to four and five. Okay. So the next number that I'm getting is 99. Nine. So I'll write 99. Nine. So both are odd. odd. So this is girl. This is girl. Okay, so 99 nine means both odd means it is both boys. Okay, and one more is phi 2. Okay, so this is phi 2. So it's odd and odd is for boy and even is for girl. So you can you should do this say for 30 families and then suppose out of this this is uh, this uh, only from five families it's not sensible to make a prediction but let me ex explain suppose if the the probability of say one boy what's the probability of one boy out of five so this is this is one boy this is one boy and this is one boy so that is three out of five. What's the probability of, say, zero boys? Zero boys. So there's none here. Okay. All had 
mm, zero, so was every family had a boy. Yeah. So this is for out of five, this is zero out of five. What's the probability of, say, two boys? Okay, the probability of two boys is only one, isn't it? So you, you, this is the only family that had two boys, so that is one out of five. Now this, when you're doing an experiment, you should do this of at least of 30 families, okay? Then only you can get a sensible answer. So what I'm saying is, if theoretically, this is called the theoretical probability, okay? So the probability, the theoretical probability, so let me come back to this. So in this case, the probability of say one boy, sorry, two boys, let's only talk about boys, is one quarter. The probability of one girl, one boy is one quarter plus one quarter, which is half. And the probability of, say, zero boys is also one quarter. You, the same thing you can say, talk, you can say in terms of girls. The probability of two girls is one quarter. The probability of one girl is one half. And the probability of zero girls is one quarter. 